Hello, YouTubers. It's Champion DJK coming at you again with another weekly video. And um, yeah, again, I got a bunch of stuff. All right. So uh, starting with one male find, which is this guy right here. Uh, this car is, was released in Greenlight Motor World. Uh, this, however, is the Malibu International Limited uh, 164 scale Lamborghini Merch Lago R GT. Uh, this thing is sweet. It was only released as a green light motor world, I think only one time or two times, maybe. And there's a couple on eBay right now. Wheel Collectors, I think, is actually selling them, but they're very expensive. Uh, so I need an example of this tooling. I decided, you know, when I get the Malibu uh, die cast version of it, it's not the green light version, but it's it's literally the same tooling. Um, it's in red. It looks good. It was cheap. So I will go ahead and, of course, we'll unscrew it from the base. We'll take a close-up look at that in the second uh, segment of this video. Um, <clears throat> other than that, I didn't find too, too much else besides... Well, actually, I didn't get anything else in the mail. Um, I did find this at Hobby Lobby, which I was excited to find it. It is the Auto World Gallery Showcase with the exclusive Mustang GT. So I'm excited about that. Um, these cases are, are fairly nice. I do have a section of wall where these cases are, are on them. Um, at Hobby Lobby with 40% off, they're only about 10 bucks. So it's 10 bucks. So it's basically five bucks for the case, five bucks for the car. Not too bad. And the car is exclusive to the case. So of course I gotta have it because I'm an auto world completionist. So I was psyched to find that. We will take a look at the car inside of this in the second segment of the video, uh, which is a nice red Mustang that looks very, very good. Um, then, other than that, in store, I did come across, um, what are the what are we on now? H cases. So I got H case Hot Wheels to look at, and I found them at Target. So I got the three red edition Hot Wheels. And uh, we'll open up some of these in the second segment. We'll probably open up all of these recent Hot Wheels, why not? So, uh, fairly neat there, or at least the majority of them will open up. And then, um, cool new casting, the, of course, this McLaren Senna. Looks all right. And then uh, we got Nissan Fair Lady Z in blue. Looks decent. Um, 2018 Honda Civic Type R. And let's see here. This would have been the super treasure hunt, the 68 Mercury Cougar. Definitely want this super, for sure. Um, I collect that casting. Uh, let's see here. 88 Honda CRX in black. That's from a previous case, I think. But I had to grab that one. Um, I think this is the regular treasure hunt. I picked it up, even though I'll probably just, I'm not going to open this. I'll probably just bring it to the local meet and see if anybody wants it and give it to him. But this is the regular treasure hunt of the case, the head starter. Set that over here. And then we got the 78 Dodge Little Red Express, the 68 Chevy Nova recolor with white golf livery, the 87 Dodge D100. The Mazda RX-7 looks pretty nice. The 70 Chevelle SS Wagon. Some flameage on that one. Looks pretty good. So those mainline cars I picked up at Target. Um, so we'll probably just we'll probably rip through those in the in the second segment of the video. And then I had a massive haul at one of my friends house i have a friend that buys collections and then he lets me kind of see him first which is fantastic um and then he gives me really really good prices on this stuff um so i'm just going to show you what i picked up uh, we're not going to open all of it i'll open some of it these let's see these four cars i think is are the ones i picked out to kind of open um this one of course this is actually kind of tape blister on it it's drag strip demons um, all the cars in this collection that he picked up, the cards are water damaged. 
Um, I hope the cars are going to be okay, but I got them at such a good price that, uh, you know, I can't really complain. This is uh, another drag strip demon, this uh, George Doty's 71 Mustang. Very cool. We'll open up that one. Uh, this one's really sweet, the Ford Thunderbolt Nazy Crate. We'll open up that one. So we'll take a look at those three drags with demons. Got one Johnny Lightning. Uh, this Johnny Lightning Street Freaks 57 Chevy Bel Air convertible in the Street Freaks Scraping series. Again, you can see, you may not be able to see it on camera all that much, but all the cards are very wavy and uh, definitely um, are water damaged. So, like I said, hopefully the cars are okay on the inside. Um, and then I got a bunch of, well, two Matchbox. These I'll probably save for 10 Car Tuesdays, but two Cadillacs. Cadillac Fleetwood and a Cadillac DeVille. Well, maybe we won't save that one. That one's already pretty much falling apart. So we'll take a look at that one. And then this one we'll save for a later date. Uh, then some mainline Hot Wheels, notably... Um, some Zamax, we got Chev uh, Chevy SS, 69 Dodge Charger Daytona, and a 66 Chevy Nova. And Zamac. Those will show up in future 10 Car Tuesdays. Um, we got a couple of the Custom 62 Chevy. Again, those will show up in 10 Car Tuesdays. And then, oh, another couple Z-Max. Lincoln Continental and a Purple Passion. There's those. And let's see here. Another couple other cool cars here. We got a 67 Camaro, a 73 Pontiac Firebird, and an 83 Chevy Silverado. Very cool. Actually, I think I've got this 73 Pontiac Firebird already. So definitely won't be opening that up. I'll probably bring that to the local meet, see if anybody needs it. Um, this Thunderbolt, I'm pretty sure I already have this Thunderbolt too. So we'll put that on that pile. And then we got Plymouth AR Cuda Falcon livery. Looks really cool, looks nice. Um, the Back to the Future Time Machine DeLorean. I don't think I had this main line. I might have. I might have it somewhere. I didn't know for sure, so I grabbed it. And then uh, this 62 Corvette. This is the regular. This was a Super that year as well. This is the regular one. It's pretty cool, though. And then this uh, 86 Monte Carlo SS. Very cool. So grab those. And then the biggest score of this was these. I got almost a full, I don't know, if, I guess it's not a full set, but there's a lot of them here. And these low riders from Ravel. So I got a ton of them. Uh, there's like 24, they're all different. So I think there's like 24. So I'll just go through them real quick and show them to you. We're not gonna open all these up in the second segment of the video because I'm probably gonna do like a special on these. I may do, we might open up just a couple just to round it out so I have 20 left to open uh, because they might show up in 10 car Tuesdays or I might just do a special video on these in particular but again the cards are you may not be able to see it good on camera again but they're all they're what they're water damaged um, so we'll see we'll probably open up a couple in the second segment just to see how the cars fared I'll grab some of the worst cards and we'll open them up um, this is a 71 Buick Riviera uh, 47 Chevy sedan um, I mean like I said there's a big pile of them here these are all these two are 61 Impalas uh, 59 Impala another 59 Impala All Ravel lowriders. I hope the condition of the cars on the inside of these packages are okay. Um, S10 pickup. This one's super cool. That one's awesome. Uh, the 81 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. Uh, 
Wow, so this is a major score finding all these. This 39 Chevy sedan delivery. There's two different ones here. One of them's in plastic packaging. Maybe that's what we'll do. Maybe we'll open up the plastic packaging ones. So there's only a couple of those. Um, let's see here. 64 Chevy Impala. There is four of these. in different colorways. <laughs> Very awesome. Um, let's see here. We've got 70 Chevy Monte Carlo. I think that's the only one of these. In fact, I think that's what we're going to do is open up the ones that are in the plastic, the non-cardboard. Um, and then we got 58 Impala, a 64 Impala, and a 77 Monte Carlo. Again, these are very cool um, looking at these in person up close. I don't think I have really seen too many of these before. Um, and then a 61 Chevy Impala. That's in plastic packaging. Uh, the 96 Chevy Impala. This one looks super cool. This one is the one I was like the most excited about. This one actually in the Chevy S10 pickup. Very, very cool. And then uh, a 70 Chevy Monte Carlo. That one looks pretty awesome, too. Again, there's your card. Definitely got wet at some point. And then uh, this Chevy, 63 Chevy Impala. So I think that's all of them. So how many is that? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. It's 10. One, two, three, four, five. So I got enough for two 10 Car Tuesday episodes. And we're going to open two of them. Uh, let's just open, since they were the odd one out, I really want to get this car open. So we're going to go ahead and open this one right here. And we're going to open... Uh, let's do this one right here, the Chevy S10. Let's do those two. Those are the two I was most excited about. So we're gonna go ahead and open up those right away. All right, so the rest of these, you'll see them in a future video, uh, up close and personal. Again, all these packages are just shot, but um, you know, that's one of the beauties of, of being a loose collector is packaging doesn't matter to me. And sometimes you can get things at pretty good prices um, just because the packaging is garbage. Uh, so, and that's that's fine with me so i will reap the benefit of that every chance i can so all right so let's go ahead and uh, flip this camera around we got enough stuff to look at for sure and uh yeah so stick around okay let's start by taking a quick look at this auto world gallery showcase with the exclusive mustang gt uh, very cool car it's a pretty cool case um if you, for those of you who are not familiar with these, it's just a six car case. It does interlock with more of these. If you buy more, um, it can interlock on the sides, it can interlock on the top or interlock on the bottom. So you can kind of display these in any, any way that you want to. You can mount them to the wall. Um, they do come with covers. Each individual six piece thing comes with its own cover then, which is actually kind of nice. I'm just gonna take the cover off. It's removable. Um, you can either just swing it open or you can remove it. Uh, it does come with an optional mirror backing. Uh, the way you would have to put this on, though, is peel the protective coating. You could, uh, I guess, stick it maybe to the back side of the case. But the instructions tell you that you actually have to cut this to the correct size. And it has an adhesive backing that you would stick on the back. I don't use this mirror backing, so... I just don't use it. It's too hard to use for one. That's kind of a silly idea to have to stick that by yourselves. Um, then you've got the car, of course, that comes inside of it, which is this right here, this Mustang GT. This thing is absolutely beautiful. Um, I should also mention that as far as I know, there is no um, ultra red version of any of the cars that come in these cases. At least I've never seen one I'm pretty darn sure that there that it doesn't exist. Um, of course, I could be wrong. I doubt that I'm wrong, but I could be wrong. 
but let's just take a quick look at this Mustang. Um, it basically looks the same as the black one that came out in the previous release with the same wheels, except it is red. I love the wheels on this thing. The license plate says exclusive. Um, it looks like we got a pretty good one here. I don't see any major flaws. Just a very nice looking car. I am definitely happy to have finally found it. I waited it out until my um, the hood opens on this one. This one's kind of tight, so I don't think I'm going to force it. Um, I waited it out. I could have ordered this on AutoWorldStore.com a long time ago or ordered it from, you know, wherever a while ago. But the least expensive way to get these, honestly, is Hobby Lobby because of that 40% off coupon that you can use for any one-time purchase. So, which they price these at $16.99, which is high, but um, with that coupon, you can get them for around $10, $10.40 or whatever it is after tax in my area anyway um, after tax so looks pretty good red body red interior of course metal body metal base uh, quality that you would expect from auto world I haven't shown much auto world lately on my channel because it really hasn't put out much um, but I think pretty soon here we're gonna start getting some new auto world releases and we'll be showing off of course all of those I went ahead and pre-ordered every release that's coming out so far like the next three releases so I will be getting them, and I will be getting them hopefully in sealed inner, so I will be doing unboxing videos on those in the future. Uh, so pretty awesome. So there you go. There's that Mustang GT. Um, and I should say, speaking of cases, I did get contacted again from Mascar Displays, uh, So and they were kind enough to create a coupon code for me, so you guys are welcome to use it. You would actually help out my channel by doing so. If you go to mascardisplays.com and you use the promo code CHAMPION at checkout, you will receive 10% off your order. Um, so... Please do that if you decide you want to order some mass car displays. If you want to check out the mass car display video, um, I definitely recommend doing so. I did a review on their displays. They're pretty cool. They are sending me a brand new product to review, and I will be reviewing that as well. So look forward to that video. All right, so moving on, we got the this 164 scale Lamborghini Murcielago R-GT. Um, this is a high-speed casting. Malibu die cast 164 scale uh, the packaging for this thing was garbage which of course doesn't matter to me we already talked about that um, it's all scuffed up and scratched up doesn't matter uh, but the car is in great condition and looks really good some of these Malibu die cast uh, castings or high-speed castings that were used in the early green light motor world are actually very very nice um, they kind of are almost Kyosho esque in that they have a pretty plain plastic base they have a metal body um, they got a lot of the detail you would expect or see from a Kyosho including the fact that they have um, some lens detail right here in the front and lens detail in the rear and they just look pretty good. I've shown a couple of these castings in previous videos. Um, I really like them. I like them quite a bit. And uh, whenever you can find them cheap, they're usually not that cheap. They're usually almost a, about the cost of a Kyosho. And you can kind of see why. And the green light ones, the older ones, are even more expensive. So go figure. Uh, some of the toolings, though, do not have rubber tires. Some of them do have plastic tires, so some of them are definitely better than others, and some of them only have painted detail. They don't have the lens detail. So the, the quality or, or the type of construction isn't always consistent with them, but this one is super cool. I was really happy to find it on eBay for a cheap price. I did a best offer on it, and the seller accepted, which was excellent. So really glad to add that to the collection. It's fantastic. <clears throat> All right, so moving on from that, we'll take a look at the one Johnny Lightning in this video, this 57 Chevy Bel Air. I could have saved this for a 10 car Tuesday, but I'm just going to open it because we're going to take a look at, I guess, two other low riders. Might as well take a look at the Johnny Lightning basic version of this. Um, this one comes with a card. Although this packaging was water damaged and stuff like that, it, it must have not been too bad it doesn't smell too mildewy like you would get on um, some stuff that's been soaked in water for a while 
Um, but here's the car. Pretty cool looking Johnny Lightning. Love those wheels. Little tiny wheels. Of course, the axles on this doesn't don't articulate like they will on the um, the Ravel lowriders. Very nice though. Very nice color with the gold and red. Uh, the casting appears to be in pretty good shape. I don't really see any major flaws or issues with it. And that's going to join my Johnny Lightning collection. Which my Johnny Lightning collection is just ridiculously, it's getting just ridiculously huge. I'm not complaining. It just is getting big. Alright, then let's take a look at these low riders. Let's start with this one right here. I don't think this one has an articulating axle like the most of them do. This one just has an opening hood, as noted right here. Um, these came out... This is copyright 2003, so we're going to guess 2004 for this particular one. And it's from Lowriders... I think it's like from Lowriders Magazine. Like these were actual people's cars or modeled after actual people's cars, I believe. I could be totally wrong. Um, you can see here there's some yellowing on the blister. The blister is definitely dusty and dirty. The card is also water damaged. Um, let's go ahead and open this up. Now, luckily, one thing that's going to save a lot of these cars right here from any paint rub or anything is that they put this other insert of plastic in with the blister which essentially creates you know pretty much a watertight seal on the car so this car should be in good shape let's go ahead and check it out and yeah it does appear to be in good shape i've only got a couple of ravel castings in my collection and now i'm going to have a ton of them with all these low riders and you know i thought about flipping a couple of them but i just don't think i will i think i'm just going to keep them because they're pretty awesome and they're pretty valuable actually loose as well they can be if they're in good shape so but very very cool i like that a lot that's a really sweet impala ss I know the Hot Wheels Hunter Martin really digs these, but definitely got to keep this one. There is a little bit of bubbling here on the paint in the back. You can kind of see that right there. Um, that could also be not anything to do with the water damage. That just could be the way it is. Um, although it could have could have been some effect that, that these cars were likely in some sort of flooded basement or something like that. So. But either way, really cool to get it. These do have plastic bases. It is screwed together. Uh, the tires are rubber. And the wheels look awesome. So I'm happy to have that one. That's really cool. All right. Next, we'll take a look at this one. This is the 90 Chevy S10 pickup, pickup Electra Slide, which has a, oh, it has a rotating bed and adjustable axles so this one's got a lot of articulation this one is also from 2003 as it looks like um maybe you want to read that i don't know so low riders a whole way of life and a whole way of die cast so let's check out this s10 all right, so there it is, just sitting the way it normally would. Now, I don't know, do these axles actually snap into place yet? So it does snap into place like that. And then let's check out the bed. So the bed supposedly rotates. Whoa, okay, yeah. It comes completely up and off and rotates around. Why you would necessarily want a rotating bed on your pickup truck, I do not know, but it does look pretty flashy, I guess. But definitely pretty cool. I mean, the truck looks pretty cool just as is, just like that. But the fact that it's got those moving parts is kind of neat too. Um, does the back axle go up and down too? It looks like it should, but it, 
maybe it doesn't. You got that rotating bed. Kind of interesting how they put these together. It do, they do seem a little bit fragile. I'm really nervous about this, but I know this axle goes up too. Yeah, it does. Boom. So both axles articulate and the bed articulates. Pretty interesting. Now Hot Wheels 100% did do some lowrider toolings as well. And they kind of articulate on like a ball joint. So they actually, um, you know, one side can go up and stuff like that. One tire. Each individual tire, you can kind of like angle it all weird and make it look, you know, a little bit more realistic than just the front axle and back axle going up and down. Uh, but this thing is super cool. Um, I totally dig it. And I can't wait to get into the rest of those low riders, which I'll do again, probably a 10 car Tuesday episode on them. Um, it, I have two. 20, 20 other cars to, to go through. So, all right. So moving on from there, we got this brake strip demons. This, this blister was actually taped on here because it must have fallen off at a previous time. I actually do have this car already in my collection. The reason why I wanted it though is because I wanted to maybe make a custom with these wheels like a custom Chevy Bel Air gasser, I think would look really good. You know, you got the back tire with Goodyear and then this cool spoked wheel up front. I think you could do a really cool custom with these wheels. And so that's kind of why I wanted to grab this one. Very cool. This is one of the least desirable, I would say, of the Drag Strip Demon series is probably this car. Um, but the wheels are, are fantastic on it, so probably will end up doing if I ever get back into customizing. Uh, this next one is a casting I collect, the Ford Thunderbolt Nazy Crate. And these cars, I mean, I don't think were popular when they came out, and uh, they were clearanced everywhere, and people picked them up on clearance. Those people did good. Here's the Nazy Crate. Pretty cool version of this of this Ford Thunderbolt. Of course, it's all metal, uh, rubber tires. The one notable thing about the Drag Strip Demon series and Premium series of this era, uh, whatever they did to do the graphics on these is absolutely fantastic. It's way better than modern um, full deco Hot Wheels. It just is. The graphics are way sharper. I'm sure it was a more expensive way to do it than what they do now, but you don't get that like dot matrix effect at all. And they look just really, really good, really good and really, really sharp graphic. So this is a sweet piece. Glad to add it to the collection. Very, very awesome. All right. So there's that one. And then, uh, we'll take a look at this Mustang. This would be another really good example of nice graphics on a vehicle. It just looks sharper. Even the RLC, like release cars nowadays, suffer from that graphical problem. That just looks low resolution, just frankly looks pretty bad. Um, so definitely digging this one too. Again, as you can see, the graphics on it are very, very sharp. The lines are very sharp. Even if you look at them up close, they just look really, really good. They're high resolution. Um, Mustang, funny car. This car does not roll. No, it barely rolls. It scrapes the ground. And I think that's because this axle in the front is not, yeah, it's in all the way. It's just the wheel is so, the wheels are so small that this thing literally just scrapes the ground. It's kind of interesting. But it looks really good. The gold uh, kind of metal flake going on. Sparkly look to the paint. It's like a yellow, but it's more kind of goldish yellow. And then the tampo action on here is just fantastic. So that is a cool one. Glad to have grabbed that. 
And then all we got left, really, we got this one matchbox that's fallen out of the package, this Cadillac um, sedan DeVille. It's a pretty cool Cadillac casting. There's been a bunch of variations of this out, I believe. Um, by looking at the copyright date on the bottom here, usually you can tell when the casting debuted. This is a copyright date of 2007. The card has a copyright date of 2007 as well, so this is likely the first release of this, or the first color it was put out in. And it looks pretty good. It's a pretty sweet Cadillac. I dig it. I dig it. All right. So, next, all we got left is mainline Hot Wheels. And uh, we're going to start with this one here, this McLaren Senna. Uh, this would be definitely one to get excited about coming out. This color blue is so odd, but they did a really good job matching it to what the actual car is. And, of course, we can't pull this out without taking a peek at it next to this Mini GT. Of course, this is going to be a lot better, this Mini GT. I mean, it is a lot more expensive. It's not a dollar car. It's made with multiple pieces, and it just obviously is going to look way better. But really, I'm showing these together just to see kind of how good Hot Wheels did with, you know, that price point that they had to work with. And it's pretty decent. I mean, it's not... This is a weird car. It's definitely a weird silhouette of a car to try to get right um, I don't know I mean they did okay with it but I just couldn't imagine I don't know who designed this one but I couldn't imagine having this feat of having to pull this car off as a one dollar model like it just looks like it's got so many edges and it's so crazy looking it just seems like it would be very difficult to pull off and I think for a dollar model I think Hot Wheels definitely did a pretty good job with it I mean it looks relatively proportionate to the this one here uh, the Mini GT is a little bit larger just slightly though not really much different at all Let's just check out the wheelbase here like the wheelbase is like right on it's almost, they actually are pretty much the same size. So I would say the Hot Wheels is pretty much 164 scale. They're, it's right on the size. So I would say, yeah, that's a win for Mattel. I think that uh, they did a, a really good job on that, making that, producing that in a $1 model. That's pretty impressive in my book. All right, so moving on, let's just quickly go through the rest of this stuff. We got Red Editions. The rest of this, I don't have much presentation. Just We're just going to take a look at the cars. That one I could have went without, but whatever. It was in the set, and I found them all together, so I might as well grab them. This Cadillac is sweet, though. Definitely dig that. Uh, the Viper is actually a casting I collect, kind of, so I had to grab that one. What's your favorite red edition out of these three? I know probably most of you probably say this Cadillac because it is kind of a cool casting. It's Fleetwood Custom. This thing's got a plastic body. Whatever, it's a fantasy casting. They seem to throw fantasy like a fantasy casting, or I would call it a non-desirable uh, tooling into every um, batch of reds. It seems. So there's that, and then we got. Honda Civic Type R. This is a new model for 2019. In red. And I don't know. I mean, now that I'm looking at this, should we compare this one to um, 2019 Honda Civic? Just do it in yellow. All right, this is the same car, right? Mini GT versus the Hot Wheels. And again, size-wise, they're right on. They are right on. So 
So it's a 164 scale car. I mean, as long as the Mini GT is accurate, which I'm just going to assume that it probably is. So far, I've been pretty impressed with the Mini GT. And uh, if it's not accurate, it's not accurate. I just uh, I think that they probably are. This is in yellow, not necessarily the most desirable color for it, but the one in white looks a lot better. I just didn't want to compare that to this one. Um, but, I mean, again, for a $1 model, that's pretty good, Hot Wheels. That is pretty good. And, of course, people will grab a bunch of these and probably customize them and stuff like that, you Honda fans. So, what you guys think about that one? It's not a terribly exciting car for me, but... I, I think they did a good job with it. All right, so then this guy here, Honda CRX. You guys have already seen this come out in multiple colors and yada, yada, yada. First, or not multiple colors. I would say that the first color was red. This is the second color it's in. I would say it definitely looks better in this black uh, color. Looks pretty good. I, I And I want to say this is probably pretty close to scale, too. I wouldn't doubt it. Maybe, maybe not. But just judging on the size of it compared to the size of like the newer Honda Civic, it's probably not that far off. Pretty cool little car. So there's that one. Um, let's see here. Nissan Fair Lady Z. This is a recolor for this. I believe this has already been out in yellow. And now you get it in blue. Uh, kind of bland. This is like one of my least favorite uh, Z toolings. It just looks a little crazy with the way like the the body's way too wide on it. It's got kind of like a frog looking front end. It's not just not a super huge fan of this particular version of this car, but it looks all right. And there it is in blue. Uh, then we got the Mercury Cougar in a matte green with flames said this is a super i definitely want i collect this casting i dig this casting this cougar eliminator i think it's very very awesome just kind of a cool old school kind of like race car so it's very cool it looks really good in the flamage i like the the color of it that's like totally matte green with the orange flames i just think it looks really good so pretty cool pretty cool indeed and then the uh, 70 chevelle ss wagon green flamage on this very nice color charcoal gray with like a iron cast kind of look in it look to it looks very good looks very good so Hot Wheels is still doing some cool stuff. I know I kind of ragged like I'm not like into main lines anymore and all that stuff, and, but they're still putting out some pretty cool cars. Uh, here's a Mazda RX-7. I'm just opening the rest of these because the, these last three I'm not super excited about. We got the Chevy Nova. We got the Dodge truck. Which the Dodge truck is kind of cool. It's, it's got that same sort of color as this... Nova. I like that paint. I like the color. That looks good. And actually, this little red express truck in silver and blue actually looks quite good, too. like that. I think it looks pretty good. I like that colorway. That looks pretty good. And then, of course, you got some golf color. For the Nova, so I had to pick that up for the golf collection. Kind of have a small golf collection. I don't, I don't buy everything that's got golf on it. By the way, I just get some stuff, and uh, this is definitely one. All right, so that's going to pretty much be it for the video. My favorite car is probably this Lambo, but I was super stoked to score a bunch of these uh, these low riders. They're just cool. They're very cool. Very, very cool. So that would be my top three probably for the video today. And, of course, the Auto World 2. Just because I've been waiting to get this for way too long. And now I finally got it. So pretty awesome. All right. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you guys very much for watching as usual. Um, have a great week.